بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما so the next thing we'll try to see the ehrp process how it works so more similar to osp process but not no, plenty of steps you have in that so generally let's let's take an example here i i do have a router 1 and the router 2 now these two routers are connected to each other via some wan link and these are my lan interfaces so what i want is i want this lan to lan communication should work now for that we need to make sure that we Uh, we are going to configure the ehrp so let's assume that we have already configured the ehrp in this scenario now whenever you configure the ehrp like we use a network command to advertise that particular network so whenever you configure the ehrp on the router 1 the router 1 is going to initiate a hello message saying that i am so and so i am 10.001 and it is going to send out uh, A hello message on two twenty four zero zero ten. That is a multicast address reserved for EHRP. Just like we have two twenty four zero zero five and six are reserved for OSPO, and nine is reserved for RAP version two updates. So for the initial neighbor discovery, it is going to send out a hello a message onto the router two. Now, if the router two is not configured with EHRP, then basically these hellos will be unanswered. means it's not going to reply back because the router 2 is not running ehrp so it is not going to understand or it's not going to reply those hello messages but once we configure the ehrp on this uh, interface as well then it will listen to those hello messages and it is going to reply back with again the hello message and most likely the reply will always be unicast and it's going to send out its own ip like whatever the interface ip and that will be the identifier here and the reply always comes as a unicast so similar process you have in ospf as well and once they send and receive the hello once i say hello to you and you just reply to that hello message then both will become the neighbors now now the router 1 and router 2 will form neighbor relationship and they build a neighbor table and we can also verify that neighbor table by using show ip ehrp neighbor command and again this this neighbor table is the basic thing we'll see when we do some troubleshooting this is the first thing we'll try to verify in general now the first step is they need to establish the neighbor relationship and that's what happens initially and once they become the neighbors now they will start exchanging the routing information now when when they decide to exchange the routing information they just send a update and in that update it is going to include the routing table now unlike ospf ospf is going to exchange some few, uh, different messages but whereas here uh, this router already having some kind of routing table now this routing table contains the best routes to reach each individual destination like if you take an example here let's say if it is connecting to some three routers here and assume there are some specific networks here like there is something called 192.168.1. subnet 2. subnet and 3. subnet now to reach this subnet maybe there are two or three routes maybe to reach this particular network maybe there are there is one route from here one route from here like that probably it's not going to exchange all the routes it's going to exchange the best routes which are present in the routing table so the neighbors will exchange the complete routing information that is your routing table and once you send that update uh, probably the router 2 is going to send out an acknowledgement packet saying that okay i received this update so it uses some uh, reliable updates here with whenever it sends an update it's going to confirm that likewise the same thing happens from the other side as well now the router 2 also will be having some networks it is connected including its own network so it's going to send out its best route to reach that particular network and then it's going to send out an acknowledgement so this is what happens in the second step and once they exchange now now they will have some kind of routing table convergence and then and then what what can happen is like the router 2 is sending this network information from this side maybe the router 1 has received this information from let's say there is one more way you have connected 
and you might have received the best routes from this set also. So, so there is a possibility that the router may receive uh, best routes from different neighbors. So probably it's going to figure out which is the shortest path in terms of bandwidth and delay. It will consider that. It will do some calculations. We call it as metric calculations. We'll see that in the metric calculation section. And it's going to decide which one is the best route and that best route it is going to write down in the routing table. So which means that router one may learn about this information from multiple neighbors, but it is going to install any one in the best route and that best route it is going to exchange with its neighbors as well.